Well, hello, YouTube. I wanted to bring you this uh, rather nice-looking 2012 Chrysler 300. Uh, this one is in just white exterior. Um, you can see on the headlights, I don't believe these are HIDs. I believe these are projectors, but I could be wrong. Um, but you do have your LED accenting, which looks very nice when they're lit up. Um, this one has, let's see, um, 18 inch um, chrome plated wheels. The, you can tell by this little ridge right here, they're not actual chrome. Um, it's a little cap that goes on them. Uh, chrome plated door mirrors, no LED uh, turn signals on these. Um, and then the uh, LED um, tail lights, as well as the dual exhaust. Um, so we'll go ahead and jump inside this one. It is open, naturally. Woohoo! That's a hot piece of metal. Now, getting in, um, the first thing I notice is how nice it smells in here. Um, it smells very, very nice inside, very clean. Um, this one, of course, has the 8 speed automatic. Whoa. Oops, oops, oops. My foot was hitting the seat controls. I don't believe this one. No, no key in this one. Um, but like I said, the 8-speed automatic with Chrysler's uh, new shifter, which is rather interesting. So, I'm assuming you push in and go all the way up for park. Um, so, maybe that's reverse. There's park there. There's neutral here. And there's drive, or low. I'm not really sure. I'd have to play with it. Um, you know, I really like this uh, faux wood trim. It doesn't look bad. It is a little on the cheap side. Um, and you can tell it's plastic. Because it kind of creaks when you push in on it. Um, automatic climate control, dual zone. Which is very nice. Uh, this one does have the... Uh, 8 inch Uconnect screen, which isn't going to come on, but there's your power and volume, uh, your tune and all that. Um, down here, it does look kind of empty. Um, let me back out a little bit. You can kind of tell it just, it has a little bit too much of the wood. I think that maybe they should have added another, or made this storage place bigger or something. But you can see that does lift out, and there's like some little, um, I believe this is your emergency gear release right here which I'm not about to mess with. You do have a little storage compartment with a 12 volt power outlet in there. Um, CD changer, I don't know if it's a 6 disc or single disc. Uh, SD card reader it looks like. Uh, of course push button start. Uh, very thick leather wrap steering wheel, feels very nice. Pretty loud horn, uh, typical Chrysler thing, they always have pretty loud horns. There's your trunk release. Um, automatic headlights, um, and there it does have fog lights, or no, it does not have fog lights, I'm mistaken. Uh, there's your panel dim and your interior lighting. Um, dash materials, all soft-ish. It's kind of more of a hard plastic, and it sounds pretty hollow. Up here, this is stitched in leather or vinyl. Um, but more of the soft-ish material up here. I'm not really sure if I could consider that soft. It's more rubberized than padded. Down here is padded um, pretty well, actually. And then down here, of course, is uh, hard plastic. Over here, still padded materials. Glove box is hard. Um, glove box is actually really nicely sized. It is, it's damped and... Um, you have three little areas of storage, one, two, and then three down here, and it is lined with felt. You have more of the wood uh, trim coming across here with uh, aluminum accents. Here's your center cup holders, which do slide back, and if I'm not mistaken, on some of these, these are heated and cooled. I'm not 100% positive, though. Uh, armrest is vinyl, you can tell. That's not leather, because of the way it's wearing. Uh, center console is... Pretty nice size. You have your auxiliary and USB input, as well as a uh, another 12 volt power outlet and places to store your phone or iPod or whatever you use. It does not slide. 
Um, let's see. It is a manual tilt and telescopic steering wheel, which is really nice. I like the driving position in this car. You feel very, you feel very uh, nice and low and into it. Um, here you have your high beam controls and your wiper controls. And you have your voice command for all the Uconnect controls and your switches on the back of the steering wheel. Cruise control, uh, door panel is um, same as material as the dash. It may be a little more padded. Uh, same for down here underneath the wood trim. Uh, this is padded vinyl, not leather, you can tell just by the way it looks. Uh, right here, the driver and passenger window are automatic up down, but the rear are not. Um, and then this is hard plastic, and then hard plastic down there. But it's pretty solid. I can't really complain too much. Um, I'll go ahead and open the hood. Whoo, -hoo, that door is hot. Walking around to the hood, you'll find Chrysler's corporate 3.6 liter Pinastar V6, which is a very uh, nice engine. It's not a bad engine at all, pretty powerful, and sounds pretty decent as well. Hood closes nice and solid. Uh, this one is a 2012, as I said, with of course, the 3.6 V6 and 17,000 miles exactly, or 16,999. Now, getting into the back seat is going to be a bit of a challenge because the Elantra over there is very close. But once you do get in, it's a very nice place to be. Oh my gosh. I do not want to... Okay, there we go. But like I said, once you do get in, it is a very nice place to be. You can see uh, you have plenty of room for your feet to go up under the seats. Um, you do have dual air vents back here as well as another 12 volt power outlet. Dual mat pockets, which is pretty nice. Uh, one thing I kind of don't like is this hard plastic chunk on the seat. And the headrests are absolutely massive. You can see, they're just humongous. Um, door materials do carry through from the front. It's all the same. Uh, with the plastic uh, aluminum look like door uh, handles as well as the wood trim. Window switch back here. Uh, you do get a center armrest with uh, dual cup holders as well as a storage compartment which is nice. I like that. Now let me fold myself out so I don't Ow, hit my head on the door like I just did. That did not feel good. Anyways, here's the trunk. It's a very large trunk. You can see, um, pretty nice size. Uh, there's no power folding. The hinges, it does have hinges instead of struts, but they're covered, so they're not really going to crush your cargo. But um, anyways, I guess that pretty much sums it up for this 2012 Chrysler 300. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and thanks for watching.